A group of teenage boys gets into a fight and one leaves and then returns with a gun. Now one victim is recovering at Mission Hospital and a 14-year-old boy is charged with attempted murder. Investigators tell News 13's Ashley Searles the gunman fired blindly into the home. A handful of teenage boys had locked themselves inside 135 Johnson Street, leaving one boy on the front porch who was angry. And I, I would expect it with older people, but not kids that age. I mean, it absolutely blew my mind. Family says the single mom living there was down the street telling the family of the 14-year-old that was left outside that the boy wasn't welcome at the home anymore, but he had already left and was now coming back. The fellow came through my backyard. Um, he had a 12-gauge wrapped up in a sheet and come through my yard, and my husband looked at him, and he looked at my husband, and he goes... Like that, my husband, you know, just kind of put the rake down and came on the porch. Moments later, the Coleman's heard gunshots. There was a whole bunch of screaming, and uh, one of them had blood all over him. Nathaniel Landrum saw boys running from his sister's house. So I asked my little nephew, who was one of the kids that was running, what's going on, and he told me the guy shot him. I said, shot him with what? And he said, a gun. I like, I know it's a gun, Tyreek. What kind of gun? But he didn't know. The 14-year-old had fired a 12-gauge shotgun through the window of the front door. Police say they recovered only three pellets. Most of them had hit a 16-year-old RS Central basketball player who had been standing behind the door. My nephew said that um, the guy that was shot said F you to the one that shot him. And the one, he got mad and went and got the gun. Landrum says the shooter then began chasing the injured boy through yards with a baseball bat. Before he returned home, his father caught him and walked him down the street to police. Crying said you done threw your whole life away. You made the biggest mistake of your life. Ashley Searles, News 13. The 14-year-old shooter is charged with attempted murder, but police say more charges are possible. They also say adults could face charges in this case. Officers say they'll be looking into how the young man was able to gain access to that gun.